And now, your first alert weather. All right, we're chugging along through the work week, and we've been seeing some gray skies for the past couple of days. We've got more of that coming in here for your midweek Wednesday. We're going to be rinsing and repeating that forecast. We have areas of freezing fog, a few flakes out there, 20 degrees, no wind at the Idaho Falls Airport. Switching it over to the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam, 30 degrees with winds out of the southwest at 8, down to 22 for that wind chill. Over to Jackson, it's been snowing lightly, 23 degrees. Winds out of the south, though, gustier at 17 on the eastern side of the Tetons. Yeah, we're getting some wind there. When that takes your wind chill down to 9. And in Salmon tonight, clear conditions, cold temperatures down to 34 right now. Winds out of the southwest at 11 miles per hour. That takes the wind chill down to a 26. Now on Viper, we really don't see anything impressive. We were getting a few little blips of snow earlier this evening, but we're really not picking up on much. Even over in Jackson, it's very tough to get a good readout of the snowfall there in western Wyoming. More of the same, like I mentioned here for tomorrow and Thursday. Area of low pressure continuing to swing through California, Nevada, and Utah for tonight and tomorrow, leaving us north of that jet stream, keeping us cold chilly temperatures struggling to get to 30 degrees for those daytime highs that low is going to travel to the east here it's going to deliver quite a bit of snow tomorrow in southern and central utah uh, but for us here we're just kind of seeing more of that freezing fog low cloud cover partly cloudy skies in some of the mountain locations and then we start building in stormy weather as we head into thursday friday and saturday now we start to see some of that snow getting into the western outskirts of idaho by thursday just starting to get some of that snow also up towards north idaho with more wet weather digging in deep here as we head into the weekend. We'll get to that in just a minute. But for tonight on the Vipercast through tomorrow morning, we got low cloud cover areas of freezing fog. Sometimes that fog could get pretty dense and within the fog you might get a few flurries. But notice partly cloudy skies tomorrow morning in central Idaho and parts of southeastern Idaho. Then we're going to see more of the same here for Wednesday afternoon. As we get through the afternoon, we're trying to push back on a little bit of that cloud cover in the upper valley. But the cloud cover and fog will start to return to the region as we head to Thursday Day. A little bit of that light snow still with us. The next large storm system will start to roll in from the northwest as we head into Friday afternoon. It looks like we can start to accumulate some snow as we get closer to Friday dinner time. And then we catch a little bit of a break Saturday morning with another round of snow coming in here for Saturday afternoon. And off and on snow showers push us into Sunday. Patchy, dense, freezing fog tonight. Slight chance of snow from that fog. And the winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour with a high of 25 from Montpelier tomorrow. We got 26 in Lava and Soda tomorrow with highs around 32 in Preston. We should get to 30 for Driggs and Swan Valley, 26 in Island Park, and 28 for Rexburg. In Jackson, you'll see highs here at 25 with the low 20s in play for Thursday. We're back into the upper 20s, low 30s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with scattered snow and gusty winds. Rexburg, we also will see the scattered snow and gusty winds for the weekend with highs warming to 28 for Friday, 34 for Saturday, and 32 for Sunday. Central Idaho, whew, yeah, cold tonight in Stanley, 5 below zero, but still managing to pull off a 30 for tomorrow. 22 for Mackey and Arco, lows around 4 tonight. Salmon's going to see a high of 27 tomorrow, along for Thursday with highs around 29 for Friday. And the upper 20s, low 30s this weekend with some scattered snow shower activity. Over to the Snake River Plain with Idaho Falls, topping off around 28 tomorrow. Same for Rigby. We'll look at the lower 20s for high INL with 32 for the expected high in Pocatello and the upper 20s for Aberdeen and American Falls. Blackfoot eight day forecast highs reaching back to those mid 30s by Saturday as the wet weather approaches and we'll see the gusty winds and scattered snow showers continuing through Sunday. Cold temperatures next week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. You'll also pick up on that cold air next week as you take a look at the Pocatello eight day forecast. Highs around 34 for Friday, 37 for Saturday, scattered snow, gusty winds and lows back into the 20s. Idaho Falls wrap things up here with a high of 28 for Wednesday. We got 27 for Thursday, upper 20s for Friday, and we're going to warm it up just a little bit with the arrival of that snow on Saturday. Yeah, at this point, I'm looking at a few good inches of snow on the ground. It's not going to be a major snowstorm, but it's going to be another good sized system. We're going to get a couple waves of snow Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and some leftover snow showers in there for Sunday, Todd. Mmm, leftovers. Yeah, leftovers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's when you kind of just have like the hit and miss snow yeah. accumulating a little bit into Sunday and Monday. But I think for Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, we'll have to get the snow shovels out again, the snow yeah. blowers. Good amount. Yeah. Okay. All right, Michael, thanks a lot. Coming up yet tonight, thousands of people.